Hello everyone, today I'd like to demonstrate how to use the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter with a Windows tablet. On a previous video, I demonstrated how to use it with smartphones working with a Windows phone device that use the corresponding Snapdragon chipsets such as the Lumia 1520 and the Lumia 635. It also works with Android devices. I have a Nexus 5 and I tested that out as well. But it also works with Windows tablets or basically in the Windows PC with Windows 8.1 and the corresponding software that's necessary as well. So let's take a look and see how we can get this set up. The first thing you want to do is have your Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter properly connected to your TV. After you have it connected, then you can change your input. You need to find out which HDMI source that is going to be on, minus HDMI 3. Once you get that selected, you'll then see the standard Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter screen. The bottom there shows that it's ready to connect. And now I'll get my Windows tablet of choice, which currently is a Dell Venue 8 Pro. Hopefully it has enough battery life to complete this. I checked it earlier and it wasn't charged up. So once you have your Windows tablet, you swipe from the side, click on Devices, then click on Project. And the first time you have to add a wireless display. So we're gonna hit add wireless display, searching for devices, and then it finds the Microsoft wireless display adapter. Click on that. And then it's connecting on the TV. It shows the name of the tablet that it's connecting to. And now it should be connected. So now it's displaying exactly what's on my tablet. So if I go back, then I have everything that you see here is on my TV, the same way it is on Windows Phone. So you have everything on your desktop that you normally go through, basically quick access. And unlike Chromecast, it doesn't re rely on applications, but actually mirrors your entire screen. So if I go into my games and things like that, I can play them on the big screen, just like in my previous video, for the phones. So it's an excellent device. It, it, it retails for $59. I bought mine from Best Buy. You can buy it from other sites. You can buy it directly from Microsoft, but it definitely is an amazing, simple device that allows you to mirror your screen from your small screen to the big screen. And so it's signed into Xbox there and go to single player, choose a race. And for the sake of time, I'll just choose pretty much the default options. So I'll move this out of the way so I can try to play a little bit and you guys can take a look at the screen there on the TV. And so it's really smooth. Excellent for sharing your games, your movies, and whatever content that you have. So I highly recommend it, um, not just for games, but if you have other things that you like to show, such as presentations, um, movies, pretty much anything that's on your device. And as you can see, there really isn't any lag in playing it. Once again, just like before, it's hard to do this and look through the Lumia 1020 that's recording this video. But that gives you an idea of what to expect from this device. And it's great to mirror your content. For example, if you like watching TV on your tablet and you come into the room and you want to have everybody else watch it, you basically turn your TV into a smart TV because now you have all the applications you have on your tablet device, you have them on your television. So if you don't have a smart TV, then you can at least mirror your smart device to your TV as if it was a smart TV. So that definitely helps. A great way to save money instead of going and buying a expensive smart TV. Just buy the Microsoft wireless display adapter 
and mirror your content. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found this useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If there's anything in particular you want to see, leave me a comment below and I'll see if I can see about getting that done for you. Someone did ask if this works with the Lumia 1020. Unfortunately, it does not work with the Lumia phones that have the older Snapdragon S4 processors. Um, it seems like Microsoft omitted that support because the chipset itself does support Miracast wireless display technology, but for whatever reason, Microsoft or whoever does not enable that on the older devices. So you will need a newer phone to be able to take advantage of that. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you next time.